Childcare workers provide a safe, educational and happy environment for kids to play and grow, all the while under their constant supervision and guidance. Today I'm hanging out at Cherish Cherubs to have a chat with Suze to get the facts on what being a childcare worker might be like as a career for you. They don't just supervise our kids. Childcare workers monitor children's behavioural and social growth alongside preparing materials and equipment for educational and recreational activities. Hi, you must be Suze, I'm Hi. Rebecca. Hi Rebecca. How are you? Yeah, good, thank good. you. Um, I've just got some questions on what it's like to be a childcare worker. Oh, it's awesome. Let's go down the park and we'll have a chat. Sounds great. So, Suze, I'm interested. What made you decide to get into childcare? It was a natural progression for me. I was brought up with children. I babysat when I was young. And they're just a lot of fun. Now, Cherish Cherubs is your own business. Take me through a typical day for one of your carers. If a babysitter goes into a home, they talk with the parent, find out what the routines are and what time, you know, bedtime and what meals they can have and things like that. And so the day is spent focusing on the child. So it's all about developing them physically, emotionally, socially and looking after their everyday routines. What would you say the hardest part of your job or their job would be? The challenging behaviour of some children can be hard to deal with, but there are strategies that we use to deal with that sort of thing. On the flip side, what's the most rewarding part? Oh, the, the fun, the laughter and the helping the families. Is that what inspires you? The helping the families, that's our biggest thing. Suze, what information or advice would you give to someone if they were interested in starting up in childcare? To start, you can work your way up through the system, so you can start as a worker become a qualified, become a manager, and then there's so many different options that people don't think a childcare worker can get into initially, but it does open a lot of doors. So Cherish Cherubs is a home business, but what other opportunities are there available in childcare? There's the running the centres, there's a lot of support services for families, so there's other avenues that can go that way, and there's a lot of people that can travel the world being a nanny, and as a qualified, you've got more opportunity to pick up the best jobs. If you could list from school to now, what steps does somebody need to take if they were going to enter childcare? They've got the option of going straight to TAFE and doing the childcare course, or they can actually work in a childcare centre and study as well at the same time. So they'll need their Certificate 3 and their Certificate 4, and then they can get to diploma level if they want to be a qualified carer. What characteristics does somebody need if they want to be in childcare? Lots of fun, lots of initiative, and just got that genuine caring side to them for both the children and the families. And if you could do one thing differently, but still end up where you are today, what would it be? I'd spend more time focusing on the actual whole family, not just the child. So I had lots of fun with these children and knew these children really well, but I'd like to support the families more as well. Well, Suze, your job sounds absolutely incredible. It looks like you have a lot of fun. Thank you so yeah. much for having a Thank chat you. with me today. Yeah. How much fun does being a childcare worker sound? Playing with toys and hanging out with kids all day sounds like a win-win to me. If you want to find out more information on being a childcare worker, jump on to studentedge.com.au.